Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about those people who arrive in Thailand and want to meet their perfect partner to settle down with for the rest of their lives or maybe it's not. I've been with my wife now for four years in July, so nearly four years and two years next month we've been married. So previous to that, four years that I had in, in Thailand, I went out with a few different girls and in today's video I'm going to talk about the three types of girls that I went out with. One was a, a bar girl, another one is somebody who was working in a job, full-time job, and the other one is how I met somebody on the internet. So first of all, uh, I'll talk about the, the bar girl stroke cashier. Um, it's when I first came to Thailand not knowing really where to go or what to do or how to do it and a friend of mine ran a, a guest house in, in Pattaya and another friend of mine who, who's lived here for seven years previous to me moving across here used to frequent that guest house and bar so I took a lot of advice off him and he said to me he knew the cashier of this guest house stroke bar for a number of years and he said she won't rip you off later she's a nice girl um, so I took his advice, uh, asked her to go out, and she said yes. So I spent two years with this girl from that one introduction. She was a lovely girl, nice girl, pleasant. Um, but towards the end of the two years, um, it started to break down for one reason or another. Um, I'd, for me, I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't a, a cheater. I never strayed anywhere. Once I was with her, I was with her all the time. As far as I knew, she never lied to me. She was honest and she was a nice bubbly girl. Everybody loved her. Everybody thought she was brilliant. Um, but unfortunately, she had a, um, a hysterectomy um, because they thought she had cancer. So I paid for her to, to have this hysterectomy because the surgeon said it was best that this would happen. Um, so following that, following she had the hysterectomy inside her, it changed her and she became a very moody person and a very, towards the end, very aggressive. So we went to the doctors and I thought hormone treatment, take a pill, take a tablet and that'll, that'll cure her. But no, the doctor said to her, no, 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 your hormones are okay. It's a crazy doctor you need to go and see. It's not a, a psychiatrist. It's nothing to do with your hormones. It's a crazy doctor. Obviously, she didn't take that very kindly and she was very upset over that. So we tried for another two or three months unsuccessfully. You know when a relationship starting to fail because you start arguing all the time. She came at me with a meat cleaver and a lumpy 2 by 2 wood to hit me over the head. Um, I called the police. The police came round and talked and calmed everything down. And end of the two or three months later, for no reason whatsoever, threw a dinner up against the wall. We started a big argument and she came at me again with a, a meat cleaver. I told the, the police again. The police came round. And in between me going to the police station and the police coming around, she smashed everything that she could possibly smash and get all of. Threw it all down the stairs. Just just trashed everything, about 100,000 bahts worth of my possessions that were totally broken. So then th that was the end of that game. As I say, I give her two, two attempts and on the third attempt I just said, no, listen, enough's enough. No idea why she turned, but that's the only thing I can put it to, was the operation. In some ways, it changed her mind. I did try to help her by taking her to the doctors and seeing what we could do with hormone therapy treatment, and it just didn't work. So, best to walk away, best to move on and find somebody else. So then that, that was the cashier, stroke bar girl, guest house worker. There's many things that you can say it was, but it was where it was. She used to go for customer, with customers for money. But we had a nice two years together, on and off. So the, the second relationship that I went, I looked for somebody on the internet. Um, I'd been around all the bars and one thing and another. And I thought, I'll give the internet a go. 
So the internet dating was quite interesting. Um, listen to a little bit further on the video and I'll tell you a couple of no-nos on, on the internet and what to watch out for. So the girl that I met on, on the internet, she used to work at a, a language school. She used to teach Cambodians English. So quite well educated, quite happy in herself. And when I met her, everything went okay. She was a work worker, she had her own apartment. Um, everything looked good. We went out together just as like boyfriend, girlfriend, started dating and then just moved on from there. Excuse me, I have a water. So moved on from there. She then decided that she wanted to be a chef. She was a good cook anyway, so she wanted to go to um, a school to, to be able to, somebody to teach her how to cook. Because um, ultimately she wanted to be a chef in one of the top five star hotels. So for an order her to do that, you had to leave the, the language school and, and go towards the being a chef. It's a special school in Pattaya. This would mean that she didn't have any money to pay for a, a qualifications or a schooling and she wouldn't be earning any money from being a language teacher. So I offered to pay her her costs to go to this school for six months. And that worked out about 13,000 baht a month I'd give her for the six months while she went to school. So this was working five days a week. Uh, she did very well. She was one of the top students in the, in the school. She was getting taught by one of the chefs that used to cook for the king. So good qualification, good knowledge base. And then at the end of the six months, she got a, a job at the Dusset Tani in, in Pattaya, where again, she didn't get paid because it was sort of an um, internship where she worked for them for another six months for no pay. So she could gain the qualifications. And again, I didn't mind it because it was just like, yeah, okay, it's, it's what you want, it's what you want. But then she was working six days a week. So she was going out at seven o'clock in the morning, coming back seven o'clock in the evening, tired, and we only had one day together. And after the seven or eight months, it was like, mm, I haven't come to Thailand to do this, sort of drop her off at work, be on me on all day. Then she comes home for two hours, then we're in bed, and then do the same again the following day, and just have one day a week off together, where she was tired and she wanted to clean her apartment out or clean my apartment out. And it's just like one day a week to be with somebody, it's not really what I wanted. And then she came home from the Dusset Tani one day and said that she'd been offered a, a placement for six months in America. So she said to me, let's come to America with me, Nevada. I've got this, this wonderful opportunity. And I said, well, it's not my dream. I said, I haven't no need or intentions to move to America. So I said, listen, go and follow your dream. And we sat and discussed it for two or three hours. She was upset. I wasn't totally upset because I saw seeing the writing on the wall and I wished her every happiness and success. And off she went. And, and then following that period, I had a number of girlfriends from the bar, um, in the bars at Pattaya. Again, I met a couple of girls on the internet and I met a few girls via other recommendations of other people, but nothing, nothing really clicked. And um, I've got to say, like I said about the girls on the internet, the one that I met on the internet, she used to get at least 100, 150 messages every week. So for those people looking for a, a romance relationship on the internet, be careful because years old, there is a lot of competition on the internet. So be careful. Whilst they're talking to you or going out with you, undoubtedly they're talking to somebody else also. And the, the third one that I can talk about, about relationship wise, again, th this girl was one of the girls that I met off the internet. Um, but I'm sure she, she used to work in a bar, although she said not. Um, 
I think she did. You, you sort of get this feeling and um, I'm a very, very doubtful person anyway. I, I find it hard to trust people because there's lots of people let people down and some words of advice was given to me by a friend of mine many, many, many years ago. And bear this in mind, please take this advice, is good feelings go a long way. And he's given the three strike rule. The three strike rule is being number one, if you think they're up to something, it could be in your mind the first time. The second time, it's like, hmm, I'm probably not wrong. And the third time, get shot. Make them go away because you're not wrong the third time. And this one that I'll explain about is the girl that I was with. She was lovely. Every, again, everybody liked her. I'd only been, in with her. I'd been out with her for a few weeks. She was at my condo in Jomtium. And then she said, oh, I'm moving apartments this weekend. So she said, I won't be able to see you this weekend because I'm moving on Friday evening to a, another apartment. And I said, do you want me to give you a hand? She said, no, 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 I've got plenty of people to give me a hand. And then she went into the shower and took the telephone with her. Well, for me, that's like ding, ding, ding. Taking the phone into the shower bathroom with you. Okay, well, I might be wrong. The second one was after she'd moved into her apartment, it was the Saturday morning, she rang me up. She said, oh, Les, I've got to go to Bangkok. Um, I've forgotten to go and pay my son's school fees. So she said, I'm going to Bangkok. I said, yeah, okay, then if you need to go to Bangkok, you need to go back to Bangkok. So she said she was leaving at nine o'clock. So from nine o'clock until 11 o'clock, I was calling on the phone, no answer, to a girl who always has the phone in her hand, alarm bell number three. And because I met her on the internet, once we got together, I said to her that, listen, I'm coming off the internet. So I said, I won't even go on the internet to talk to anybody else and I would ask you to do so. And she said, she did. So I went back on the internet, looked at her profile. She changed her description, she changed the dress. So she was still actively seeking other people on the internet. So I phoned her up when she eventually answered the phone. I said, listen, don't bother coming back. I said, um, it's not going to work out. I said, the relationship's over and done with, but thank you very much for your time. I was pleasant enough and off she went and found somebody else. I'm, I'm sure she has. So that's my three descriptions of the girls I met and dated previous to my being married to my wife. I've, been, I've got to say that my wife is one of the nicest people that you could ever wish to meet. She doesn't lie. She doesn't cheat, she doesn't embellish anything. She's as honest as the day is long. She is truly one of the nicest people anybody could ever wish to meet. So the girls are out there. You've got to look at yourself and don't cheat because girl, Thai girls don't like cheating. Go with your gut feeling, have fun, find the girl that you want. Be truthful with them and if, if it's not working out, have the, have the courage to move on and find another one. The thing is with Thailand, they're everywhere. You could find a really nice one and be with them for a long, long time. Or you can find a bad one and be with somebody for a short time. But you will soon find out over here. Please watch my other videos and I'll give some more information about bad stories and good stories in Thailand. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe and watch my other videos. Any comments, please put them below. If you want to know any information, then please contact me at the email address below. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.